Hello friends, Metapod here, and in this video I'm going to walk you through the tutorials of Shepherd's Crossing Online and get you started playing the game, um, and hopefully teach you how to play the game as well. At first I'm going to use the tutorials to teach you how to do each function, and then at the end I'm going to go through the entire game screen and tell you what each button does and a little bit about how to use it really quickly. Um, so if you've gotten through the tutorial and you're stuck, you can watch that part. Um, but for right now, let's start out with the tutorials. There will be these orange boxes saying click here. Um, these will tell you what you need to do next, so if you're confused and you're still in the tutorial, look for this. After the tutorials are over, you won't see this anymore. Um, but first we're going to learn how to do quests. So click here to go to the quest board. And then it will load the quest board from the server. Um, this will explain it to you, so if you understand Japanese, you can read that. Uh, this tor tutorial is pretty much for people who don't read Japanese and want to play the game. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just skip those parts, because um, I'm going to explain it to you instead. Um, so here's the quest board. Um, you can list different kinds of quests here. Most of your normal quests, these are just kind of regular quests on this tab. This tab is going to be uh, special quests. Um, and we'll get to that later. Um, then you can change the way they're organized here. I would just leave it at default. It's pretty easy. Um, you can click this button to read about a quest. Um, so here's our first quest. Uh, Welcome to Shepherd's Crossing. So click it and then I'll give you the details of the quests. Um, this is the steps you need to take in order to complete the quest. Um, and then yeah, it's pretty much just grow a radish, and then uh, you can click here to accept the quest. Once you have accepted the quest, oh, and the if it's a story-based quest, um, you'll get a cutscene. You can click through here uh, if you want to read the cutscene. You'll meet uh, Ariel Sinclair, who's like the kind of lead character, mayorish. I think she's the mayor, so I don't remember. Um, character in this game. If you just want to skip the cutscene, you can click this uh, cancel button and she will give you a bag of radish seeds and uh, quests that you are currently doing will have this marking on them here um, and you can always check them again to see like what the requirements are if you uh, need a refresher. Um, so then when we exit to go back to our farm, it'll give us the tutorial on crops. Um, but I'm going to kind of walk you through that now as part of the quest. Um, then it'll tell you to click here. This is your inventory. Um, if you click on it, it'll show you all the things you have. This will talk about using things from your inventory. Um, these tabs up here uh, will kind of organize it by certain types of items. Uh, this left tab is everything, and um, so we need to click on our radish seeds, and then uh, this is kind of just a cancel button, so is this. This is the use button, so we want to use this, and then we can place it somewhere out on our farm. We can place it anywhere we want. Um, it has to be within this faint green square, because that's the borders of our land. Every time you level up, you'll get more land, so it looks small now, but you'll level up to like level 4 or 5 through the tutorials, I think. Um, so just place it, and then um, that will plant your crops for you. Um, it's pretty simple. You don't have to like hoe or anything like that. You just place them where you want them to be. Um, then it'll talk about the action point system. Uh, pretty much everything you do in the game costs action points. Um, this meter right here with the heart, that's your action points. And uh, right now we have 20 out of 20, and every three minutes we'll, we'll get one more. Um, this is the kind of game where you wait to be able to play more or you can pay money to uh, refill this, but um, I personally don't feel like you really need to pay any money at all, and the game is still pretty fun and has a good enough pace without paying money. Um, but if you want to pay money uh, to like kind of marathon the game all at once, you can. If you like to just play in little uh, short bursts, you can do that too. So. Uh, now we need to water our crops. This little icon over it means it needs to be watered. So we can click on it and then we'll water it. Now if you've played Shepherd's Crossing on PS2 or PSP, um, not the DS version though, it did have a skip day button too. Um, 
you'll remember that you can do as much as you want during one day, and then when you want to finish the day, you click the um, next day button. So it's not like Harvest Moon and some other games where uh, it's based on a real timer. You get to choose when the day's over and take your time and work at your own pace. So when you've done everything you want to do in the day, you can click this um, skip day button and it will become the next day. And then now the water, the crops need to be watered again. So we'll go ahead and water them. And then we'll skip to the next day. It's usually not this much skipping. This is just, um, well, sometimes you do skip a lot. It just depends on how you're playing. Um, but for the sake of the tutorial, we only have one thing to do each day. Also notice uh, you're getting some experience points here. I think it'll cover that in the tutorial soon. And then um, now it's changed to a basket. Whenever you see an icon over an object, it means uh, interacting with it will do whatever that icon is based on. So the basket means collect. So if we click on the radishes with the basket over them, we'll collect the radishes. And then that has completed our quest because our quest was to grow radish and collect a radish. And then uh, we'll talk to Ariel some more. Um, you can skip that. And then uh, you'll get some experience points for completing the quest. Different quests give you different rewards. Um, some of them will unlock new things, some of them will give you items, some of them will give you experience or money. And we've already leveled up to level two. Um, and this will talk about leveling up and experience and stuff. And then um, once you've leveled up, you can expand your farm. And you will see these little uh, signs. And those are places you can expand your farm. Right now there's only one because this is a tutorial. But uh, you'll be able to choose where you want to expand later. And um, this will tell you what level you need to expand there and uh, how much it costs or what kinds of uh, requirements you need to expand there. And right now there's nothing, so all we need is level two. And there we've expanded. And uh, if you check your inventory, you can see the radishes are in there now. But um, let's go ahead and go on to the next quest because um, we've gotten a new one. And uh, this quest is going to be about raising animals. And we're going to meet a new character, too, I think. So we'll start this quest, and we're talking to Ariel. Oh, nope, we're not. She's just going to give us some fodder and the marmot. Um, marmots are the beginning of game animal in every Harvest Moon, or every Shepherd's Crossing game. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go to our inventory. And we got this bag of fodder. Right here in the corner, this is your fodder count. Um, right now it says 0 out of 200. This below is your fodder cost. Every day you will consume this much fodder, and this is based on how much animals are on your barn, or on your farm. So uh, let's go ahead and take this fodder and use it, and this will add 50 fodder to our collection. So now you can see it's 50 out of 200, and uh, 200 is kind of the max that you're able to store. All right, and that pretty much just explained that. Uh, so now every time we end the day, we'll lose zero fodder, which so it'll just stay at 50 forever. But we're gonna take this marmot and use it, and now we can place it out on the farm. There we go. And um, there's not anything else we can do, so we can kind of just wait for it to grow up. As long as we have fodder in here, it will be able to eat when we skip the day. And right now it says cost is two. Um, that's because this little uh, marmot here is eating two fodder every day. So let's skip the day. You'll see it went down to 48. And that's because uh, the marmot ate some of the food. And we pretty much are just going to keep skipping till it grows up. Um, and there, we've completed the quest as it's grown up. And then uh, we'll talk to Ariel some more. And she'll give us 200 denny. Denny is the money in the game. And she'll give us this coin. All right. And uh, that's just some more stuff you can do with animals. Um, they can get little icons over their head too, like the crops, and clicking with them will be able to do stuff like uh, shear them. Marmots later, you'll be able to slaughter them for meat. So if you see a little, uh, I don't really know what it is, but it's like a little thing with wheels over it, you can click that and it will slaughter it. Um, for some reason, the tutorial wants you to sell your animal at this point. 
Um, so if you click on this button here, it will change what type of cursor you're using, um, and that will change how you interact with the things on your farm. Right now it'll only let us select the selling button, um, but we can sell our marmot here for 10 denny. You can see the cost and the little box that pops up. So click the marmot and we'll sell it for 10 denny. And it's gone. We got some experience points and the marmot has been sold. And um, now it's going to talk about the uh, mailbox. If we go check our mail, um, we can get different items in here. Uh, usually items that you win from quests or uh, by special events or from your daily login bonus or uh, from visiting friends and stuff like that, they'll come to your mailbox. So you need to go to the mailbox um, and retrieve these items. If they've been in there for 30 days or more, they will get deleted. Um, so you just click this button and then you'll get the items into your... So here's the coin that she gave us, and you'll get the items added to your uh, inventory. And that's all you have to do. Once they're out of the mailbox, they won't take 30 days off anymore or anything like that. And let's go ahead and move on to the next quest. So this is the um, now try it on your own quest, and pretty much Ariel will challenge you to uh, raise a marmot and raise a radish on your own. So now you have to remember what you just did in the last two quests and do it without the help of the tutorials. Um, so remember, go into your inventory and you can click on anything and click this green button here and that will let you use it from your inventory to put it out onto the ground. Um, there you go. We'll go ahead and water it. And then we'll go ahead and use the marmot and put it out. So now that we have these, we can skip the days keep watering our crops, make sure our marmot is okay, we still have enough food. And the quest has been complete because the marmot grew up and the radishes were planted and watered. And um, Ariel will be impressed, we'll get some experience and some denny, and we'll level up again, so we're already level 3. Um, note your action points get completely restored when you leveled up, um, so you can use that strategically in the future. Um, there we go. We'll go ahead and water this. Um, we're not going to be able to use this marmot, so we can go ahead and sell it and get uh, the three experience for selling it. Um, oh yeah, when you change your cursor to like this money thing, if you don't want it to be on the selling cursor anymore, just click this X. And then... Um, oh, <laughs> I was like, where am I supposed to click for the tutorial? Then uh, it wants you to expand your um, land into the water, because you can own sections of water too. And now that we're level 3, we can expand our land. Alright. <laughs> yeah, and this will talk about the login bonus. If you log in every day, you can get a bonus item. Um, so. It will give you 50 denny for the first day, and then you'll get today's bonus item, which uh, today is the 30th, so we'll get um, a baby sheep. And uh, yesterday you got 300 of these PO medals, which is better than the sheep in my opinion, but you want to log in every day to get your bonuses, and I think you might get more bonuses if you log in consecutive days enough or something. Um, and now the game becomes a little bit more free. Um, I'm just checking these so it doesn't say new. Uh, these are just little notifications that say like, you leveled up to level two, you leveled up to level three, stuff like that. Um, I always just check them. Um, so now you can kind of go everywhere, do whatever you want. Um, but there's still a bit more uh, not as hand-holding tutorials, and I'll walk you through those as well. Um, First, I just want to clear out these new. I hate when it says new. This is the shop. Um, this will be part of the tutorial soon, so uh, it's actually probably part of the next tutorial. Let's go ahead. Now you can see we have all these new tutorials we can do. Um, so let's go ahead and start with this one. Oh, and you'll notice that, uh, see how this tutorial is locked? 
Um, if you read here, it'll tell you how to unlock it. If you don't understand Japanese, this can be kind of confusing. It usually will tell you the name of a quest or a level, like you have to be level 8 or something like that. Or it'll say the name of a quest, so you can look over here at the quest names and see uh, which one it matches up with this one. This one, though, says do lots of requests and learn about the game. Um, and pretty much just doing all of these will unlock this, and that will really open up the rest of the game. Um, so let's go ahead and start here. Um, let's see, this wants us to raise three radishes and three kabu. What's a kabu? Like a turnip? And then, um, so we'll go ahead and accept it. Um, or maybe just wants us to buy them. I didn't really read it. <laughs> I just kind of read the name of the things. So we're going to see here, um, Ariel is going to introduce us to Delphine, and she's the shop owner. Yeah, they'll give us money. I think it was... Oh, what? Oh, this is the one I'm on now. Oh, yeah, you just have to buy them. So, um, it says buy three radish, buy three turnip seeds, and then... So we're going to go to the shop, and that's where Delphine is. You can see her right there. And we need to buy three each of these. Now there's um, two ways to buy crops in this game. So I'll show you the first way with the radishes. You'll have three buttons here. The right button, the red button is always the cancel button. The green buttons are action buttons. This left one will buy it and put it in your storage. So we'll buy and we can choose how many we want and we need three. And it will say it's going to be 45 denny total. We have over a thousand, so we're good. So let's go ahead and buy it. And then uh, it'll pretty much just tell us that it worked. And you'll see that the three radish seeds appeared in our storage. So we can go ahead and pull them out. And we'll plant them right here next to our other radishes. And uh, we'll go ahead and water them before we buy the next. Uh, because that'll go ahead and start our three minute timer. So we'll be a little ahead while we're buying the rest of our stuff. Um, and let's go back to the shop, Delphine's shop, and then uh, buy three kabu, three um, turnip. And then instead of choosing this one, which buys them and puts them in inventory, we'll put this one, uh, which is uh, buying them while placing them. So now you can see we're on the placement screen, and we can place these kabu seeds wherever we want and they will actually um, purchase as we place them out on the farm. So there, we just bought one, two, three. And then click this X here to cancel doing that. And we've cleared the quest. And we'll get a little scene with Delphine again, and we'll get some experience. Now we can uh, water the rest of our crops. There we go. And then uh, let's go ahead and do the rest of the requests. Oh, wait, we got some stuff in our mailbox. Um, oh, this was from uh, the daily login bonus. So make sure you go check that every day. When you see numbers here, just always go check it, and you can uh, get the stuff right here. And uh, some of it was money. Um, so let's go and do our next quest. Let's see. Uh, oh, this one is about placing fences. This one is really easy to do. Um, Delphine will give us some fences that we can place on our farm. And uh, the fences will be here. And she just wants us to place four of them on the farm. We have exactly four. Just click anywhere to place them. Yay! We've cleared the quest. And we got some more money for it, too. Um, and then it's going to teach us about cursor commands, which I talked a little bit about earlier. And I'll kind of go through those now. If you click here, you can change which type of cursor you're using. This one is the move cursor, so you can pick anything up and move it wherever you want. So I could move this fence over here. You can even move this little guy, which that'll be explained later. Um, you can move your house, stuff like that. Um, Let's try a different cursor. This one is the flip cursor. You can click on something to change its direction and then set it down. So uh, we can change these fences like this. Like that or something. 
Um, yeah, let's go ahead and move this one over here. The fences you can connect at their corners. Um, so now it looks a little neater. Okay, let's see. And then this is the move to storage cursor. So if we click the fences now, they'll go back to storage. And then it will ask us if you want to. You can just say yes or no. Green is yes, red is no. Um, this is the cell cursor. We've already used that. And this is the trash cursor. It will completely delete an item. Um, so don't use that unless you absolutely want to get rid of something. Um, it's probably better to sell it if it's something you can't sell and you want to get rid of it and you can't move it back into your storage. Use that. It looks like that. But don't do it. Okay. Um, oh, and we got some new stuff here. Oh, she got uh, some squarish fences and some round fences. And let's go do another request. Oh, this one is about recipes. Um, recipes are how you learn how to make items using your own items. So we're going to go meet this guy. I forget his name, so we'll keep going until Claire, or Claire, Ariel, have I been calling her Claire? Ariel introduces us. Oh, his name is Julian. And um, he wants us to make a coral necklace, so he'll give us some coral and some stones. And uh, you'll see that those are in our inventory now. And um, just go here to the blacksmith shop, and you'll meet up with Julian. And um, these are the recipes here. Um, all of them except this one are going to be locked at this point. Um, and you can separate them by types. There's like uh, food recipes, um, fodder recipes, uh, map recipes, and other. Um, this one's an other. So let's go ahead and click it, and it takes um, two rocks and one coral, and you can choose how many you want to make. Uh, we only have enough to make one, but uh, this number on top is how much you need, and this number on the bottom is how much you have. So like if we were making zero, we need zero items to make zero, but of course that won't make anything. If we want to make one, we need one coral and two stones, and we have one coral and two stones. So um, let's go ahead and do it. Click the green button to confirm that you want to make it. And then click yes to say you do want to make it. And then uh, we've cleared the quest. And we got a coral necklace out of it. We'll talk to Julian about it. We'll get some experience. And we've leveled up again. Um, let's see. Oh, and now you can actually see this will make a coral necklace. Before you make things, you don't know what it's going to make. So, like, three radishes will make something. It makes a radish juice thing. And then you can kind of uh, look through the different things you can make right now if you want. Um, you'll notice you probably don't have any of these ingredients. This is pretty close to something we have. All right, so we're going to leave the shop. And then... Um, now that we're level four, we can expand our land. Um, I'm going to expand it here. There we go. And then let's go ahead and do our next request. Um, oh, we need to get an item made through alchemy for this quest. And we're going to meet uh, the alchemy guy. And he has a really weird name. And it's a like surge, I don't know, sell, saluge, something. I don't know, but he's going to give us 100 PO medals. These are PO medals, and um, they're pretty much used for alchemy. So we're going to go to the alchemy shop. It's the one with the uh, pentacle on it. And here we go. And uh, click on the PO medal tab. This is the sheepstone tab. Um, these are the ones you have to pay money for. The PO medals are the ones you can get through the game. I don't know if you can get sheep stones other ways, but um, we need to use PO medals right now anyway. So um, these are the different items that you can create. You can click on this blue button and it will uh, let you know details about them. Pretty much when you spend your PO medals, you will get one of these items at random. I think the bottom is more common and the top is more rare, and it kind of uh, goes between that. Um, 
So I'll click that other blue button to go back. And then uh, we're going to do um, one round of alchemy. That's kind of what this says for 100 PO medals. So let's do it. And we get. Ooh, we got. Um, I think that's like a fodder barrel or something. So I'll click on it. I don't really know what that does because I've never gotten it before. And we finished the quest because it didn't really matter what we got out of it. I got fodder on my other two games and we'll get a hundred denny out of it. Um, oh yeah, your alchemy items will go to the uh, mailbox. So make sure you go to the mailbox. Oh, it adds... Okay, it'll add 25 fodder to our fodder count every day for 40 days. So we'll probably have to lay that out on the farm. Right now we're not using enough fodder to really warrant that. Um, so I'm not going to put it out right now because it'll eventually just max out and then we'll kind of be wasting it. That's a really cool item. Okay, um, let's go ahead and continue our quest. This is kind of long for a tutorial, but uh, at this point it's kind of supposed to be more like still beginner level. And once you finish these, the game will really open up and you can play however you want. You kind of have to finish these to really uh, go on with the game, I think. All right, let's go ahead and do this. This is the uh, fishing quest um, that's gonna teach us how to raise fish. And so we're going to talk to Delphine again, and she's going to give us this uh, little beginner fishies. And we can place them out on the water. And here's the ones she gave us. So go ahead and click them. And you can place them in water that connects to land, or connects to a dock or pier if you've built one. So we'll just go ahead and place them right here. And then... Um, all you have to do for these is just skip the day and um, they'll eventually need to be fed but today it doesn't look like they need anything so we'll take care of the other things we need today and skip the day again oh now they need to be fed there we go I'll keep watering skip the day again they still don't need to be fed I'll keep watering, skip the day again, and they need to be fed. Oh, I should have watered that while I was over there. And skip the day again. All right, I'll go ahead and finish this up before we go over there. But now you see there's a net. And once they get to that stage, we can scoop them up. Boom, and we got a fish. And then we'll get a little scene showing that we completed the quest. And we'll get eight denny, that's not very much. And then uh, you can actually get another fish from it. So we'll go ahead and scoop that one up too. And then um, now you can buy those if you want to do it again on your own. And we'll go ahead and move on with the quests. Is this one? Oh, okay. And this one is about uh, making a radish drink um, for Ariel's friend. And um, we'll go ahead and accept it. This one actually has three parts. Um, we'll talk to her about the radish drink, and we'll get 500 denny. Um, now let's go ahead and look at this. The first part's already cleared, because the first part was actually clear the uh, recipe quest that we did earlier. This usually means um, you need to complete a quest. This usually means you need to acquire some kind of item or something like that. Um, you can kind of use these as a hint if you don't understand Japanese. Um, I really think that doing the class does uh, help if you can read a little bit. Um, anyway, so we need to uh, grow three radishes and we need to make a radish drink. Now, this is where quests get a little bit annoying because we do already have three radishes here. But if you look um, 
at the quest requirements. Our uh, requirement for getting the three radishes is zero because um, anything you've done previously will not count towards a quest if you have not accepted it yet. So um, growing these three radishes will not count because we haven't done it while the quest has been accepted. So now that we've accepted the quest, let's go ahead and uh, buy three radishes. And then we'll, uh, oops, I forgot to water them and I skipped the day. We'll go ahead and work on taking care of these. If you skip too many days without taking care of um, something that needs watered, it can die. I wonder if these will count. Because I don't know if we just had to harvest them or if we had to raise them. Yeah, that did count. That's nice. So it was just the harvesting that uh, counted for the quest. But we still need one more. Alright, and we're down to zero here. Um, but we just got our... Uh, third thing, if you saw that little box pop up here just a bit ago, that was saying that we uh, met a requirement for a quest, even though we didn't finish the quest, because we did finish this requirement of harvesting three turnips. So now we need to make the turnip drink. We can go to uh, Julian's shop, and, um, oh wow. We can find the turnip drink, which was this first thing, and uh, we can make the turnip drink, because we have... Uh, more than the requirement. We have three, uh, or we have six, and it takes three. So let's go ahead and make it. There we go. We've made the drink, and we finished the quest. And then we're going to meet this girl. I forget her name, too. Oh, yeah, Elizabeth. And she's going to... um teach us some new stuff, because uh, now we have new quests, thanks to her. Um, and this one is about the pirate map, or the ocean map. And it's pretty much we just need to make a complete map, and uh, Elizabeth is going to give us two pieces of a map. They were just kind of sitting on her table, and Ariel found them and decided that you should have them. Um, and those are in our inventory now, and you'll see there's a new recipe here at Julian's. It takes the two pieces of this map. These are very specific, so um, don't worry about like wanting to make more of the same map or something like that. We're just going to uh, make the map with it. Now we have the map, and uh, we got that little congratulatory scene thing. And they're going to talk about hunting for treasure and stuff, um, but we can't do it just yet. So let's keep completing quests. The next quest is about making friends with animals um, to get um, animals in your party for hunting. Um, and the first thing we need to do is make marmot jerky. And Delphine's going to tell us about it and give us um, this like drying box thing. Um, we can go ahead and put the drying box on our farm. But pretty much to make the jerky, you have to put meat of an animal in here. So let's go ahead and uh, buy a marmot. We're only going to need one. And we'll start raising the marmot. Mm, still a baby. Still enough for it to eat. Oh, I'm not going to have enough to pick these. So I still need to wait three minutes. I'll just let them sit there. And we'll keep doing this until our marmot grows up. Now, if you weren't just following the tutorials, you could of course be doing your own stuff right now, raising fish, raising crops, you know, doing all kinds of stuff. You don't have to just sit here and focus on one marmot. Oh, and it's now uh, the summer. Why did I get... Oh! We've completed the uh, first page of collection, so we get some um, 20 experience points, and here they are in the uh, mailbox, and that leveled us up to level 5. 
Oh, and these died just before I was going to be able to pick them. Um, let's go ahead and add some land for 200 denny now. Okay, oh, now you see this little thing over the marmot? That means we can kill it. So um, click on the marmot and we'll uh, harvest it for meat. And now you'll see we have the meat in here. Um, that was part of our quest to get the meat and then we need to use the meat on the box. And that will place the meat in the box for drying and it will turn into jerky. Um, terrier puppy here. But if we go ahead and go on to the next quest, Um, and this one is about finding like a, a fang amulet. Okay, yeah, we'll talk to Delphine. Will give us this terrier puppy, so we don't have to buy one, and um, we can put it out on our farm. He'll grow up after. Oh, and then you see it says uh, the cost is five because he eats five a day. We only have three, and it warned us before changing the day that um, we don't have enough to feed our animals. And then uh, it wants to know if we're sure we want to go on to the next day or not. Um, so I think we should go buy some more. We'll buy this. It's only 150, um, and it'll give us 50. And we can use it. And now we've got 53 instead of three. I'll just keep skipping until he grows up. There we go, he's grown up. And now he's uh, become a, our hunting partner. Um, and then we can go on a hunt with him. Oh, before we do this, um, I'm going to click on the house and show you how to equip accessories. Um, the first thing you do when you click on your house, you can change your avatar's look. So you can change her um, skin color here. You can change your hairstyle here. You can change your eyes here. You can change your outfit here. And you can add accessories here. Um, you can have like multiples. <laughs> um, and then you can erase them here too. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time here, so. And then if you click on this tab here, you can equip your accessories, and these will help you um, in the fights, which you'll see in a bit. Um, I guess I should do this more slowly. These are your three accessory slots. Um, you can set one in each slot, but you'll need to be level 20 and level 30 to use the second and third slots respectively. So we can only use the first slot right now. So let's go ahead and change what we have there. And this will show us all the accessories we have. We only have that coral necklace that we made earlier with Julian. So click on that and then click this confirm button and it will equip the accessory. So now we have it equipped. All right. And then you can get different accessories to do different things and stuff. The uh, Fang Amulet that we're about to go get will be like that too. Um, then click here on this. And then if you remember, we um, found that pirate map earlier. When you have an ocean map, it will tell you how many you have here. You can click this to search the ocean. And uh, you'll kind of go out and search. And then you'll find a place. And there's the island that we found. Ta -da! And this will teach you about exploring. And um, once you've found a place, it will always be here on your map. You can click on the flag to go to an area. Um, and there are three areas here in this uh, kind of world, or on this uh, like island that we found. Um, and you have to clear them in order. So let's clear the first area. And. Um, there's kind of a lot of information here. I think you can change your accessories from here, yeah. But uh, I changed it back at the house. Um, then you can also change uh, which partners you have equipped. And um, you can um, buy more EP, which you is kind of like stamina that you use for exploring. It's like exploration points. Um, it'll cost 10 to go through this uh, area of the, this island. Um, you can buy more with um, 
items, you can get those through the daily bonus, um, or you can use your uh, sheep stones, which um, cost money. But we'll click this to start exploring, and then this will take us to the exploration screen. This is where I think it helps to know a little bit of Japanese. Um, but here we are in area one, and we can um, continue or use an item. Uh, you're probably not going to have any items at this point, but you can get some um, through the daily bonus and stuff like that. Um, but continue will just move you forward, and then you'll run into various things as you move. Sometimes you'll find these tracks, and uh, these can be a battle. And then you have a few different options. This chikazuku uh, will uh, close in on the enemy, so you'll follow the tracks and try to fight. The yokeru will um, try to avoid getting into a fight. And then this is again item, this dogu here. So um, we want to go ahead and fight because we'll get some experience points for it, and you can get items too. All right, and this takes us to the fight. We're gonna fight this little like hamster thing. Um, and this teaches us about fights. In the fight, you'll get options here. Um, the bottom one is again item. I think the bottom is always item. This uh, reddish colored button is auto battle. So you can click that if you just wanna battle on your own without uh, choosing commands. This might be helpful if you don't understand Japanese. Um, and then this here is Tatakao. You can recognize it because it has the same character twice, I guess. Um, Tatakao means fight, so it will, it's like your generic attack command. So, or yeah, it means like attack. So he'll attack the hamster. And then um, this is Owen. This is its um, like special ability. It's like a cheering ability. He kind of uh, cheers on himself and the teammates, and it will power them up. But we can't use it for another seven turns. It kind of has to charge. Um, we don't have items, and I'm not going to auto battle, so I'm just going to click attack. And see, he attacked. We exchanged blows. Um, there is a speed stat in this game, unlike the original Shepherd's Crossing, where it was just random turn order. Um, we're just slower. And then we defeated it. And then we'll get another little tutorial screen. Um, if you lose, you get knocked back to your uh, place and lose your experience points and stuff like that. It's bad. But um, if you win, you get experience points. And um, we can continue our journey. And we found a treasure! And it's a fang thing. And then because we've cleared all the areas um, in that one area... Oh, we finished the quest for finding the fang, too. Oh, and she just gave us the fang amulet. Okay, I guess because I wasn't reading the story, I didn't really like pay attention. We gave her the fang and she was the fang amulet, I guess? Or no, I think we keep the fang. I don't know. But now we can use that as an accessory, too. But if you clear all the areas in one location, you'll unlock the next one. And you can explore that. Um, but uh, our dog got kind of beat up, so let's go ahead and stop for now. And we'll move on with the... Oh, we have things in our post. Oh, it's the uh, fang from the quest or the fang amulet from the quest and the fang we got from the hunt. Um, your items will come again to your mailbox, so make sure you check that regularly. Let's go ahead and continue our requests. Um, oh, this one is about guilds. And pretty much we just need to go um, meet this guy. I think his name's... Oh, Robert. I was going to say Richard. Well, it's kind of... I don't... I'm just going to call him Robert. Um... And he'll tell us about guilds. And we'll get some money. We finished the quest because it was just here about guilds. Um, this next quest uh, is um, we need to meet another guild member and help them out on their farm. Um, but we're not in a guild right now, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that for now. And um, then we're going to go on to this uh, strange animal one. And then pretty much here, we're going to meet um, the mascot character for this game. This is like Caldemon or something. Yeah, Caldemon. Um, and he wants us to find his friend and deliver this package with a letter. 
um, to his friend, and he kind of described him. Um, and then you'll realize it's this little guy here, and uh, he's pure that we're looking for. So we need to use the letter on him. And that will finish the quest. Now this quest is opened up. This was the one that was locked before. And then, uh, oh, this one is just listen to the mayor. So we're just going to go talk to um, Ariel. And then once we hear what she's had to say, she kind of welcomes us as like an official resident. And the rest of the game opens up. And as you'll see, we have a ton of quests we can do now. Um, a lot of them will be locked. Like when you see this uh, number and this stuff here, it means like you need to be level 15. This one you need to be level 12, stuff like that. Um, like this one, you need to uh, clear this quest. If you see it in little brackets, it's probably the name of something. And here it's uh, the name of this quest. So you have to uh, clear the um, Kabu raising quest before you can unlock this quest. Um, which has something to do with Delphine. Um, and then now you have uh, quests on both tabs. The quests here are special quests. Um, you want to do these, but they will have um, some kinds of time limits or something. This one, uh, you'll have exactly one day from the time you start it. And you have to um, raise 10 pasture grasses things. Um, uh, harvest 10 marmot meats from marmots and fish up 10 of those fishes. I don't know the English names of fishes compared to Japanese names, so it's the kotakuchi washi thing, like, I don't know what it's called, but that's the fish that you, the fish that you did at the beginning. You have to get 10 of those, 10 marmot meats, and uh, 10 of these pasture grasses, um, which you can buy in the store now. And you have to do all of that in one day. So these kind of time quests, um, some of them will have a time limit on them, like real world time. Like uh, last month there was a UFO quest, um, which was a really funny little silly story. And you had until um, just like 12 hours ago, really, to complete it. Um, and if you got through the whole story, you got some bonus stuff for your farm. And there are kind of these timed events like that. Um, and that's why it connects to the server whenever it gets to the um, quest board. And that's why when they're having server maintenance, you can't play the game. Because a lot of stuff does need to connect to the server, like uh, to load your friends and stuff like that. So now the game has opened up and we can do anything we want um, and play however we like. Um, so hopefully you've learned a lot about how to play so far. I'm going to kind of talk through all the menu options now and go over the things that didn't really get covered in the tutorial. Um, so I'm just going to explain everything that's on the screen. First, let's start with the center. This is the gameplay area. You can click and drag to uh, move your view around. You can click on individual things to interact with them. Um, usually they'll have an icon over their head if they're interactable. Um, and you can click on your house. Um, where you can change your accessories and dress up your avatar. Um, as far as dressing up your avatar is concerned, um, you can remove all of your items by clicking this. Um, you can change which direction you're facing by clicking this, and this will return you to your default. Um, and then you can change your accessories here. And these are the things that you will use in battle. Um, you can use this to remove it and this to change it. Um, and let's look at the display that's at the top now. This is your money, Denny. This is used to buy things in the shop and uh, used for other things like expanding land sometimes. Um, these are your PO metals. They're used for alchemy. And these are your sheep stones, which are also used in alchemy, but they cost real money. Um, these are your AP, your action points. Every time you do actions, you lose these, and they recover every three minutes. Um, and you can recover them with yellow potions, too. Um, and you can get those through the daily bonus that you get by signing in every day and playing the game. Um, this is your exploration points. They recover every so many minutes, maybe five minutes, I don't really know. Um, I don't do too much exploring right now, so I don't really pay attention to these because I always have plenty. Um, and you can recover these with blue potions. 
This is your level, and this is your experience. As you level up, you'll gain more max to stuff like this, and you'll gain um, the ability to expand your land by clicking on these uh, signposts. Um, this is your fodder, um, or your animal feed. Um, the first number is how much you have, so we have 38 right now. The second number is how much you can hold total, so we can hold up to 500. This here is your cost, this number below it. This is how much you will spend every day when you click the skip day button. And below it here is the skip day button. You can click this and it will go to the next day. This is what day it is. This is how many days are in this month. I think that's kind of weird that it needs to show you it's 30 all the time. This is the um, season. Right now it's summer. Um, if you don't know the Japanese symbols for seasons, they're pretty easy to learn. Um, you can also just tell by looking at the environment. And um, so now let's go over here to the left. This is the main menu. You can collapse it with this uh, main menu button at the top. This first button here is the request board, or the quest board. Um, you can see a list of quests, or you can see some uh, notes about things you've completed or whatever. Um, so this will show you quests you've already done, and then this will show you the current quests that you're able to do. The left is special time quests, um, so you want to take care of those usually as early as you can if you have the time for them. And then this is your regular quests. These will usually unlock new things in the stores and stuff if you do enough of them. Um, so if you want to unlock new things, you do need to do the quests for people. Um, let's go ahead and exit that. This second button here is the shop. This is uh, Delphine's shop. Um, you can buy things with the sheep metals by clicking this left tab. These cost real money. Um, and you can get these same items through alchemy or through the daily bonus. So you're not required to spend money on the game um, to see any part of it because these things are regularly obtainable. They're just rare. Um, and then this is things you can buy with Denny, your regular money. Um, and you can uh, organize by what type of thing you want to look at by clicking these tabs here. And you can organize the order by using this. Um, I never use that though. And you can flip between pages by clicking these. And then this is the sell button. You can click this to sell things directly from your inventory. Um, this sells for a lot, this coin thing. So if you want an easy 2000, just sell that and then you just got 2000 Denny. Um, I don't know if it does anything else. I guess I should have read its description, but I think it's for selling or maybe for collecting. All right, and then we'll go ahead and go to this uh, third option here with the hammer and the scissors or whatever. This is Julian's shop where you can create new items. Um, whenever there's a new recipe, uh, it'll say new on it, and that means that you haven't looked at that recipe yet. Um, you can choose what types of recipes you're looking at by clicking through these tabs like always. And then um, recipes that you've already completed will usually be at the end. Um, and you can always make more of those. Well, that's not a good example. You can always make more of those by uh, clicking on those too. But those are just ones that you've discovered the actual result. And then we'll look at this. This is the adventure map. Um, I would watch the rest of the tutorial about this, but because um, I'm not going to go on an adventure right now. But um, this is for event maps, which uh, we don't have any like event places right now. And this is for the regular places that we can go to. Um, if you have a map, you can click this button here to use the map to discover new places to go. Um, this will just show you what your current level is and how many EP you have. Um, so let's go here. You can click on a flag to go to that um, island and then uh, you can click on the different area or locations within that island and each one will have so many different areas. Um, so this right here is uh, your current level and your EP again. Um, this shows you the completion level of your um, treasure finding. There are certain specific treasures that you can find throughout this island. And as you find them, they'll fill up, and you'll get this treasure here if you manage to find all of the set treasures in these locations. Um, if you hover over a location, you'll notice this changes down here. 
you'll hear the name of it, like this one was called Checkpoint 3, and then it'll tell you how many areas are in that location and how many EP it will take to move through that location. And then um, watch a little earlier if you want to see the tutorial on how to fight, because I'm not going to do that again right now. This right here is your party button. You can see the party of animals that you have. You can click here to um, remove that animal from the party or click here to change who's in that slot. Um, and this will kind of show you a list of what you have available and you can um, make like saved parties uh, so you can easily bring them up later. This is the uh, alchemy shop. You can um, use sheep stones or PO metals um, and they will create random items for you. And then this is your mailbox. You need to click here and uh, sort through your items and make sure you uh, bring them all out into your inventory whenever they're in there. These are notifications. Um, these will tell you things like you've gotten a new item or leveled up or something like that. Um, it just kind of tracks your progress through the game. And then um, this down here is a kind of like a friend interaction menu. Um, you can also move the friend list down. Um, and I'll go over the friend list in a second. Let's go over these buttons here. This is the cursor button. You can change between these different cursors. Uh, this is to move items. This is to flip and move items. This is to put things back in your storage. This is to sell items. And this is to permanently delete items. This is the options button. It'll open the options menu. You can change the level of music and sound effects. Um, there's really not a reason to go into this menu. This is the full screen button, so you can play the game in full screen. Um, I actually like playing in full screen, but uh, we're not using it right now. This is the help button. Um, you can press this to get uh, tutorials on everything. Um, of course, you'll need to understand Japanese. And this is your inventory button. You can pull items out of your inventory now or just look through it here. And you can, of course, organize by type with the tabs like always. Um, let's see, down here we have your friend list. Um, there are different types of friend lists. This one is the ranking list. If you click this tab here, this will show the top players in the game. Um, and if you click on anything on any of the friends lists, you can go to that player's farm. So we clicked on the number one player's farm. And we'll go check out and see how it looks. Yeah, it's going to be noisy. Yeah, it'll tell you about adding to your friends list here, okay? And, um, wow. So this is the number one player's farm. And we can look around it. And you can see how much you can customize it by looking at this. I wonder if they spent money. Wow, look at the, like, shrine up there. And as you see, even though they're the number one player right now, I mean, I think it's based on active players, of course. Um, they still haven't expanded their land fully, so there's a lot to be done in this game. Wow, how do they even keep track of all this? I actually haven't done those before. You can click this button to add somebody to your favorites. That's essentially like adding them to your friend list. Um, but I'm not going to do that with them right now. I think this is people around your rank, and this is your placing, but I think we're not placed right now. Anyway, this is your favorites list. Um, this will be essentially your friends list. You can click this green button here to invite people to play. Um, you can invite them with this. This is your referral code. Um, this is what you enter at the beginning of the game, so give this to your friends if they're signing up with a new account. Um, and you can get these special items for referring players, um, for 1, 5, and 10 players that you've uh, referred. You can also refer through Twitter, Facebook, or send an email, and those buttons will um, open browser windows. Um, you can also look up other players, and so I'll go ahead and I'll show you how to do that. Um, you can look up players that are around your level. It will just show a list of players, and you can just click on them to visit their farm uh, like we did before. Or you can look up player 
through a specific level. Just click here and let's say we want to look up level 20 players. Now we can see players that are level 20. Um, we can also look up players by ID. Um, when you click on ID, it will show you your ID. So you can give this to your friends as a friend code so they can add you and look you up in the game. So I'm going to look up my ID. All right, so I looked up my original ID for my original account, and it is here. Click the button, and here I am. I'm only level 6, because um, I just started this game too. And then you can click this to visit their farm. And then here I am visiting the farm. Um, not much here right now. Um, but then what you can do is you can add this person to your favorites list. Ta-da! And then you can go visit their farm whenever you want. And then you click this button to go back home, by the way. The option menu, when you're on someone else's farm, you'll have an option menu, full screen option, and a go back home button. And then this here is uh, Caldemon's farm. You can click on that, um, and this pretty much acts like a friend for people who don't have friends. And uh, when you visit a friend that day, you'll earn so many denny, or you'll earn different items, like I got a milk through it once, um, and some other stuff. And then it'll tell you about helping out on the farm. Um, pretty much when you're on a friend's farm, you'll have five helping points, and you can spend it doing whatever. So I'll like collect the egg from the stock. And they gave me three experience points. I'll shear the sheep. Three experience points. Um, one thing you can always do, even if they don't have any actions ready to be done, is um, kind of greet PR. You'll always get points for that. Um, I'll come down here and uh, pull up these. I didn't, did I get any experience for that? Maybe not. Oh my gosh, that's such an annoying sound. Oh yeah, I got three experience. All right, there we go. And um, if you wonder why there's like weird like robots and all this weird stuff floating around, that was based on a special story that lasted only last month um, that just ended last night. So um, if you played through the story, you would understand. But if you didn't, then you're going to be confused. Um, I only noticed the story because I just uh, started playing yesterday, like one hour before it finished. And I kind of tried to get through it. Um, so I kind of saw the beginning and kind of saw what was going to happen, understand why all this is here at least, but definitely didn't get nearly as far as I would have liked because it was a whole month long to play through the story. Alright, let's go back home. Alright, and then here is your own profile. You can click this, you can set something uh, as kind of like a little greeting. And then um, set it. You'll have to click this when it says this to start changing it, and then uh, now I'm in edit mode, and then I can click it to finalize it, and then I can't edit it anymore. It'll show your level, how much experience points you have, um, how many you need for the next level, stuff like that. It'll show you your ranking. Oh, see, I don't have a ranking yet. Um, it'll show you your completionism, um, and then you can see what you have equipped and stuff. Um, and then over here, you have your farm board. You can write something on it. And then it will post it on your board. Um, and then uh, other people can write on this too, I think. I don't know. I never really tried. Um, what is this? Oh, these are those notes from before. And then maybe uh, you can see what other people write, or maybe you can write notes for yourself or something there. And then this is the guild option. Um, here's where you can do guilds. Um, there's kind of a lot to it. This left button here will start your own guild. And this right green button here is going to join another guild. Um, if you want to join another guild, click that button. And then you can look through um, different guilds and what their rank is and stuff like that. And then you can request to join by clicking this. You can also search a guild by ID. 
Um, if you have a guild, you can give your ID to your friends so they can join your guild. At the beginning, guilds can only hold three players, though. Um, and then... Oops. You can click here to start your own guild. This is going to be the name of your guild. It can be up to 10 characters long. Um, in Japanese, that's a lot, but in English, that's not very many. And then this is your uh, PR, which is essentially like a description or something you want to list as a little uh, tagline for your guild to uh, encourage people to join it. And then click here to finalize that, or that's a cancel it. I think that's pretty much everything. I think I showed how to look up the players by ID. Yes, I did. And then uh, when you do have guild, you can um, click here to show your fellow guild members and you can help them out on their farms too um, and earn more points in ranking for your guild. And I think that's everything. Um, I'm not going to use this Metabot account. I'm going to use my other account. Uh, so I will list my friend code and stuff below if you want to look me up um, and you want to play with me. Um, you can also use my referral code. Um, in the last video I talked about uh, referral codes. Um, so you can uh, add me as a friend if you'd like, and I hope you enjoy playing. I hope this is enough to get you into the game and playing, even if you don't understand Japanese. The hardest part is probably going to be able, is going to be like figuring out how to do the quests. Um, oh, that's the guild member one. Um, that's for like upgrade. Yeah, I don't th like for this one. You see a number here. You're gonna have to do ten of something, and then like if you can remember what the names of items are, like this is Kabu. If you somehow can remember what that looks like, then you can know um, to go look for Kabu. See how it's the same, and maybe like buy the Kabu seeds and grow 10 of them and see if it works. Like, I don't really know how you would do this without knowing Japanese and there's not a quest guide online right now that I know of that works in English. There might be a Japanese wiki out there for this game um, and you could probably use like a Google Translate on it or Bing Translate or something. Um, I'm not really sure though. My voice is getting hoarse and I'm hungry so I'm just going to end this video here. I hope this is enough to get you started playing the game and enjoying it. Um, try it out and see how it works and see uh, what's hard for you and what you need help with and uh, maybe I can make a help video about that. Um, let me know. And uh, add me as a friend. Give me your friend code so that I can add you to my friends too. Um, and hopefully as my guild expands, uh, I can add people to my guild too. So um, I'll see you guys later. Metapod out.